Leonardo, can you just talk about what type of commentary this is making about the greed that's kind of permeated our culture? And we're seeing this in Wall Street, but it could be any business. Right now. Well, yeah, I mean, it was very much a, a reflection. I mean, the motivation for it really came out of what happened in 2008. Uh, and the incentive to want to get this movie out now. I think that it's very difficult to do a film with Wall Street in the title period because people just have a, a, a bad taste in their mouth about that subject matter. But in a lot of ways, this story to me is like a microcosm of a much bigger problem. And that's the, the you know, this, this attitude that we've had about consuming as much as we possibly can and obtaining as, as much wealth as we possibly can with, without the, uh, any regard for for the people that it affects. And, you know, these guys in this story aren't the big fish up on Wall Street. They're not the, the, the fat cats, but they represent a, something in our culture. And that's what we wanted to explore in this movie. Do you see any similarity with Jay Gatsby at all with Jordan? I mean, is there some type of continuation? Uh, other than, you know, wanting to obtain as much wealth as they both possibly can at any cost, I think there's a distinction between the two of them. And I think that distinction was that Jay Gatsby did it for the love of Daisy and Jordan did it for the love of himself. I have a question for you. I mean, actors sometimes are asked to do quite eclectic things in movies. With the extreme things you had to do, whether pretending to be out yes, 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 on the drugs, all that, how interesting was it physically for you to go through some of the assignments? Well, you know, like I've said before, I felt like this was a modern fall of the Roman Empire. This was like a Caligula. This was, this was a Roman emperor gone awry. And so we wanted to put that into a modern context. And so every day on set was this sort of insane journey. And, and the fun of it was, you know, we, we really wanted to push the boundaries as far as we possibly could. And Jordan's story is so unique because he actually did these things. These, it's not something a writer could create. His boat did crash. I mean, his boat did sink. The private plane that came to get him did crash on the way to him. He did do that many drugs. He did go, uh, you know, sleep with that many women and, and, and rip that many people off. And all these extreme circumstances were in the book. And, you know, it's a cautionary tale in the sense that he's reflecting back on his life now. And um, But it's an insane time period that happened in a modern-day context, and that's why I wanted to uh, really put it up on screen because I think it was uh, an important story to tell.